What's up guys, my name's Brandon and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to transfer everything over from your old iPhone to a brand new iPhone 16, 16 Plus, 16 Pro, or 16 Pro Max. Now this process can be scary, but that's why I'm here, to make it simple and seamless and not so scary so you can get everything transferred over to your new iPhone without issue. And thankfully Apple continues to make this process better and easier year after year. So we're gonna be transferring over all of my photos, messages, contacts, contacts, applications, and everything else from this old iPhone to this 16 Pro Max. But again, this will work on any iPhone 16. And we will also cover the process of switching over from a physical SIM to an eSIM and also the eSIM to eSIM transfer. Okay, so first off, you should be on the hello screen on your iPhone 16. But if for some reason you are not, if you already went into the device, this is how you get back to that screen. So you just need to go into your settings, go to general, and then go down to the bottom and go to transfer or reset iPhone and tap on that and then you want to go to erase all content and settings at the bottom and then tap on that and then from here you just want to continue and erase everything from this iPhone and again this should be the iPhone 16 your new device if you already went through this initial setup and you want to be able to transfer everything over from your old device okay so now we're ready to begin and the first thing you want to do is make sure that you're on the latest software version that your old iPhone supports so go into your settings general software updates and make sure you are up to date this will just speed up the process Process and could avoid any issues. Now, if you get a prompt to update your new iPhone at all throughout the setup process, you need to do that right away, not later, not after the transfer. Do that before the transfer begins. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is make an iCloud backup on your existing iPhone, your old iPhone. Now, this is not required, but it is recommended. So in the settings application, tap on your name up top, go into iCloud, and then go down to iCloud backup. And from here, you want to make sure that you press backup now, especially if you see that your last successful backup was more than a day old. Okay, so we have our backup done. Now we can go back to our home screen and we want to go ahead and unlock our iPhone 16. Now you should see a prompt on your old iPhone, but if you do not, you just need to lock the old iPhone and then unlock it and you should see the prompt to set up new iPhone. And if it continues to not pop up, just keep trying to lock and unlock both devices. And if that still doesn't work, just try a reset, a reboot on your old iPhone. And that could also be an issue with software. So make sure you are on the latest software version. So we're going to unlock to continue, put in your passcode. So now we need to take our old iPhone and scan this orb with the old iPhone's camera so very simple just get it a little bit close right there and boom so it says continue on your other phone and now on your other phone your old phone you will see who are you signing in to the iphone so it's either you or if you have a child set up you can set it up for them as well i'm just going to do for me you will have to put in the passcode of the old device so now it's going to activate the iphone and you can see it already has our wi-fi connection now it transfer that over from the old iphone to the new iphone and the first prompt you'll see is for transferring over your phone number so you definitely want to do this right now you can set this up later in settings if you would like to, but usually just transferring over right away will avoid any issues. So we're going to tap on transfer and it says transfer your phone number. Once it's transferred, it will stop working on your other phone. So just keep that in mind. We're going to transfer number and you will have to confirm this on the old iPhone as well. So you will have to double click and authenticate to ensure that you want to transfer over that phone number. So we're going to do that. And by the way, if you have a physical SIM card, this is where you will be prompted to set it up and convert it into an eSIM. So once you convert your your physical SIM card into an eSIM, the physical SIM card, you can just throw that away. You won't need it any longer because everything is eSIM moving forward. So it says activating eSIM. You can continue setting up your iPhone while your eSIM is activating. So we'll tap on continue. Okay, so we have our data and privacy screen. So we could just go ahead and tap on continue on that. You don't need to set anything up for that. And now we have face ID. So you will need to set up your face ID. That's one of the few things you will have to redo during this transfer process. So if you don't wanna do that, you can just set up later but I'm just gonna do it now. I think everybody should do it now while you're here. And then you'll get the prompt to use Face ID with a mask so you can have that set up if you would like to. I'm not going to do that. I don't wear a mask at the moment, so I'm gonna pass on that. 
face ID is now set up so we can go ahead and tap on continue okay so now we're on the transfer your data screen so this is where you choose between an iCloud restore or an iPhone to iPhone restore so it shows you the time to transfer is going to be longer when you do it from iPhone to iPhone at least for me so it says 15 minutes for iCloud but 30 to 40 minutes for transfer from iPhone so if you're crunched for time and you have a really fast Wi-Fi network then downloading from iCloud would be fine however I usually choose to transfer from another iPhone even though it might take a little bit longer because I usually am able to stay logged in to most of my applications including social media applications and it keeps a lot more data I've noticed when I transfer from iPhone and you might stay logged in for some things when you download from iCloud but I've just noticed that you stay logged in to more applications when you transfer from iPhone so we're going to tap on that and this will also copy over your wallpaper your lock screen your widgets you know everything that you've customized on your device will also be transferred over when you do the device to device transfer and that's also why I like it better than iCloud so from here it says make this your new iPhone so you can customize what you want to switch over so if you don't want everything switched over you can customize that so if you go into your settings for example it will show you exactly what is being transferred over and then also for connections so this is where you'll see your apple watch connections as well so it will transfer over the apple watch pairings and then if you go to customize right here you have some additional options so you get to change if you want to update your iphone automatically i'm going to just do download automatically you have your iMessage and facetime so if you don't want that set up you can just tap on not now but i'm going to continue because i do want that to be set up with the new device and same with location services and same with the apple watch so i do want to use every apple watch that I was using with my old device, my 15 Pro Max main device. So we're going to continue. And now screen time, you can have that set up if you would like to. And then analytics, you can share or do not share. We get a little prompt for silent mode. So it's just telling us that that exists. And we do also have a new little splash screen here for the action button. So you can customize that from here. I'm just gonna tap not now for that. And then here we go, we have the demo for the camera control, which is a new iPhone 16 feature. Of course, you probably know that by now, so you can just continue on that. And now we have the Siri setup. So you wanna go ahead and tap on continue. And this is where you'll choose your voice, whichever one you like best. So I'll choose voice two, and I'm gonna skip all this, say Siri, how's the weather and all that. So we're gonna, we're gonna skip that. So now we have improved Siri and dictation, so you can share your audio recordings. I'm going to opt out of that and say not now. And now you get the option to continue beta testing. So if you're on beta software, you will get this prompt which I was on beta software here so you will probably not see this if you are not running the beta so you can either continue or not continue with the beta program so if I tap on continue it will likely make me install the updates and then we have an emergency SOS little briefing here to tell us what's new with emergency SOS and now you can see I do have a software update so if you are on a beta you will have the software update available right here and I would recommend going ahead and doing that okay so we are back from the software update I had to get my device on the same version as my old device so we're just going to continue at this section now I did customize earlier but we'll go ahead and continue and you can see it shows us our location services so we'll go ahead and turn that on now and you'll get prompted to add in any of your cards that you had in Apple Wallet so you could always add these later if you don't know your CVV code which I do not so I'll add this later and it shows our Apple account balance has been added and now if you are on 18.1 you will see the Apple intelligence splash screen right here we'll go ahead and tap on continue okay so now we're on the transferring data screen so this is going to show you how much time it will potentially take to transfer over all of the data now after doing this so many times for so many years Years, I can tell you that this is an overestimate. So they estimate for a longer period of time than it typically takes. So I would not expect to trust the time remaining to be the exact amount of time it will take to transfer all your data over. Usually it takes less. Now, of course, this does depend on how much you know data you are transferring over. So if you're not transferring over as much data as me, yours might be 15 minutes, but mine right now it says two hours. I would not expect that. So it's currently 132. We'll see how long it takes. And by the way, while your data is transferring, I would recommend going to watch my first things to do on the iPhone 16 video so you can learn about everything new that your device is capable of it's a great video I think you'll learn a lot from it and if you already watched that check out my iOS 18 first settings to change video I think you might find that useful 
as well. And there we go, transfer complete. So it took about an hour and 10 minutes for me. But again, I had a lot of data that was being transferred over. So yours will most likely be less than that. But again, it was still less than the initial time it gave me of two hours. So again, it usually overshoots it. So let's go ahead and tap on continue on the old device. Now, if you want to erase this iPhone, you can. So if you plan on, you know, either trading this into Apple or selling it on eBay, you should go ahead and continue with erasing this iPhone. You could always do this later, but this is the time to do it if you are planning on getting rid of it after transferring all your data. So here we are on the iPhone 16 Pro Max. So you can see that, yes, we now have the same layout. So we're in a focus mode right now. So let's get out of that focus mode. And you can see that the wallpaper is the same. Our widgets are the same our app layout is the same so pretty much everything is going to transfer over exactly how you had it beforehand which is very convenient now i want to check in the apple watch app to make sure that my apple watch did transfer over so you can see it didn't at first so it said it was trying to establish the connection so looks like we might have an issue there let's figure this out so i'm currently wearing the apple watch series 10 so let's just give that some time and come back to that so it will connect to it it just may take a little bit so you can see it's already starting to connect to it right there so cool that's good and all these applications you see on your home screen that say waiting those are the applications that are currently downloading so those will either go fast or slow depending on your internet connection and you can see all of my photos are here everything is here from the old iPhone so there we go that is how you transfer all of your data over from an old iPhone to the new iPhone 16 so I hope this video was helpful if it was I would appreciate if you gave it a thumbs up if you had any issues whatsoever let me know in a comment down below and I will do my best to get back to you to try to help you out. So if you want to see more iPhone 16 tips and tricks and just coverage in general, be sure to subscribe to the channel. I have a lot of videos coming on the iPhone 16. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.